about the people with me. Right. And the reason why I'm running is because the only way I can save the Cleveland Municipal <coughs> School District is for me to take over the mayor. Come on now. And in me, I will win. Because I'm declaring it in Jesus Christ now. So I will win. Right on. Um, in me taking it over, I will return it back to the community. Hello. And I'll run the city. And that's what's the problem now. You can't be the mayor and run the schools and the city and both of them fail. You know, your city, right now, we're in a deficit and we're deprived, with, with, we're suffering. The, with the outer shell of downtown Cleveland right now is suffering. That's right. And it, it, it's now time for us to start putting our own people in. And the one thing I guarantee you, if you elect me, I will be accessible to you. My staff, within seven days, you will be having a meeting with me, if nothing but an hour, at the least an hour. And if it takes four for us to get something solved, then we'll do it. But the bottom of the line, I'm running because I've tried every other measure. Thank you. I've been to the Supreme Court. They've denied me. I've been protesting. That's been denied. I've been dragged down aisles fighting for the children. I've been denied. So at this point, there's nothing else for me to do but to run against Mayor Frank no, You know, I'm going to be the best mayor you ever had. I'll tell you what I am going to be. I'm going to be the hardest working chair for your community. Come on. It's my word, and you can take it to the bank. Come on now. Okay. Amen. Okay. The bottom of the line, I'm about the people. And I'm not just about black people. I'm about poor people, all people, every citizen that's in the city of Cleveland. Every concern is important to me. And right now, the mayor, with him not being focused on our city, and he's focusing on education when you are spending big bucks. And doing that badly. You, you're spending big bucks with uh, an administration that is very top heavy. And then you got your children that for the last five years, they haven't had textbooks. You, we're putting pressures and telling the, the teachers union, we're putting high standards on them, and they don't have the resources to meet the, the, the goals that are supposed to be met. The bottom of the line right now, I'm, I'm running for mayor because I don't want to lose the public school system. And that's where we're at. This transformation plan that uh, Governor Kasich, who's a Republican, and uh, uh, Mayor Frank Jackson, who's a Democrat, is not going to benefit the urban students. Not at all. And let me tell you something. When you close the public school system, and you have nothing but a public charter system, you thought the dropout rate was high. Mm -hmm. You wait till they don't have an alternative, mm -hmm. and then you'll know the dropout rate is high because they'll be robbing you. So my whole goal is to let you know that I'm out here and I'm for the people, and the reason why I got interested in this race is because I have tried every other measure to save the Cleveland Municipal School District. I've been unsuccessful, but I ain't tired. Come on. Okay? But the bottom of the line, if I'm going to need support from people saying, hey, I'll put a flyer out for you. I'm going to need my people to support me. And in supporting me to get elected, I'm going to support you when I get elected because I'm going to be accessible. I want you to hold me accountable. I want you to be able to call me and say, hey, Donna, you know what? Uh, the garbage man, they around here, they driving off, they got more bodies on the street than they done picked up. I want you, if that's the issue that you want to meet with me about and you done voted for me, then that's the issue that my assistant going to say, hey, you got to meet with that lady down there. Because right now the problem with politicians, Mm -hmm. And if you notice, you notice how I was playing with the baby? Mm -hmm. Okay, well let me show you something. To be a real politician, you gotta do three things. You gotta have some blow pops. 
got a kiss, baby. And you gotta make promises. Nobody's doing that now. Nope. So what I'm telling you is, if kissing babies is what it takes, I'm going to the dollar store, get some blow pops, and my word is as far as promises, they good. And the best way to find out if my promises are good is to elect me. Right on.